Hello, Belfry Budge. I hope you're all having a good week. Today's um, gospel reading is from the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 14, verses 13 to 21. It's the story of Jesus feeding 5,000 men besides also women and children. And Jesus does so with just five loaves of bread and two fish. Thinking about Jesus and this amazing meal can lead us to think about the other meals that Jesus gives us, including the meal of Holy Communion. So I want to share with you a, a book I really like that kind of puts together some of the different ways that Jesus uses meals to come into our lives. The book is called A Place for You, My Holy Communion Book by Daniel Erlander. And you can see here, there's a place for you at the table of Jesus. Let's check this book out. God sent Jesus into the world to show that God loves everybody. Pretend that you see everybody in the world in the arms of Jesus. How many people can you hold in your arms? Jesus showed God's love in many ways. Jesus welcomed children. Jesus forgave sinners. Jesus healed sick people. Jesus told stories about God's love. But Jesus also showed God's love by eating with people. In the land where Jesus lived, eating dinner with someone was very special. It was a way of saying, I am your friend, and I want you to be my friend for all my life. I am happy that we are together. And there is a mom saying, we know Jesus loves us because he's eating with us. And the little one says, I'm glad. And do you see at this table, there's a place for you. One of the times that Jesus ate with somebody was with what we, call, we lovingly call the wee little man that is Zacchaeus. Now, crabby people back then, they didn't like Zacchaeus because he collected tax money for the Roman king. And they thought he was a bad person. But Jesus welcomed him by having dinner with them. And in response to receiving the love of Jesus, he went and said sorry to all the people that he had taken more money than he should have. And then there's the story that is today's gospel reading. One day Jesus fed over 5,000 people in a grassy field. Everyone was welcome. Nobody was turned away. After giving thanks to God, Jesus broke the bread. He shared the food with everybody. All had enough to eat. All were satisfied. The leftover food filled 12 baskets. All the people knew that Jesus loves everybody. And then there's the meal, the night before Jesus died for us. We often call it the Last Supper or the Lord's Supper. Jesus gave the bread and wine to all the people gathered there, letting him know that Jesus was present in the bread and wine. The bread was his body and the wine was his blood. Jesus said, whenever you share this bread and cup, I will be with you, feeding you, loving you, forgiving you. And we remember that even though Jesus died on the cross, on Easter morning, he rose again. The angel says, he's not here, he is risen. And one of the things Jesus did on that first Easter was have a meal with two people. This is in Luke 24. The risen Jesus saw two friends walking to their home. They were very sad. They thought Jesus was dead. Jesus joined them on the road, but they did not recognize him. As they walked, Jesus talked to them about God. When the two of them arrived at their home, they invited the stranger to stay with them. When Jesus broke the bread of the meal, they recognized him. It's Jesus! He's alive! Jesus left. 
the two were happy because they knew Jesus was alive and would always meet them in the special meal. And now we remember that special meal whenever we have Holy Communion. Usually we have Holy Communion at church. Right now you're able to have Holy Communion in your homes with everyone in your household. And see again in this picture, there's a place for you. Know that Jesus loves you very much and he has a place for you at his table. We know from Jesus that God loves everyone and one day there'll be a meal where all people, all of creation are together. Jesus loves you and with Jesus there is a place for you. Okay, have a good week, Belfry Bunch. We'll see you again. Goodbye.